here we go. This is the last one. Um, uh, go ahead. I'm going to post it, but skip number seven on this on this worksheet. I want to do number eight. <clears throat> um, it, it should be very very simple. Uh, we're looking for a distance. We're looking for this distance, and this distance is you know that our unknown or our x. So I'm going to put x on there. Um, if we make a whole rectangle out of this, this will be the opposite side. But I'm going to talk to you about that momentarily. Um, this is a guy. He's looking at a whale. It says, you know, how far away is the ale, the whale from his his binoculars? And he said they say that the, his eye level is three feet above the thirty foot uh, pier. And he looks way out into the water, and he sees a whale. It says the angle of declination or depression is 20 degrees. So uh, you, if you make a right angle here, then this 20 degrees is here. And, you know, we understand how, how rectangles and, and angles work. But I want to stress to you that the distance from here down to here is the same distance as it is from his eye level down to the water over here. So... We can translate, we can add these two things together and make this side 33, right? Because everybody knows that 3 plus 30 is 33. Um, and so I've just created a nice right triangle over here using his horizontal line of sight. Um, and then creating the side over here that is just the same height as his eye level over there. And he's going to say, okay, we're going to say, well, the whale is this far away. It's the the hypotenuse, the distance from his binoculars. Um, and so the angle of depression is 20 degrees, and it's and we're looking at the side that's opposite that angle of, of 20 degrees. So we're looking at, uh, at the, the sine function here. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. I've written it out. I've said that the sine of 20 degrees, the sine of 20 degrees is equal to... Um, the length of the opposite side, 33 feet, over the length of the hypotenuse, which is what we're looking for, that's x. And what I'm going to show you here is that these two things are interchangeable. Um, the, the x in a denominator can be interchanged with, with an answer on the other side of the equal sign. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, I'm going to say right up here the same thing. I'm going to repeat it. The sine of 20 degrees is equal to 33 over x. Well, how do I get x by itself? Well, I'm kind of in a in a quandary over here, and I hate x as a denominator. So I'm just going to um, do some simple math, and I'm going to multiply both sides by x. Uh, and that gets rid of the x here. And I guess I can multiply by x over here. And so the, the, the new equation would be um, x times the sine of 20 degrees is 33. Okay, well, that, that's all well and good, but hey, man, I want x by itself. So now I can get x by itself by dividing by the sine of 20 degrees on both sides. That's using algebra to our advantage. And now this turns into a big fat one and any any variable times one is just that variable itself. So I can rewrite this as x equals 33 over the sine of 20. All right. And that's basically what it is. Now, unfortunately, when you're doing this work and you see that 33 divided by the sine of 20, um, you're actually going to have to find the sine of 20 first. Write it down in the corner. I didn't do that um, because I didn't get out ahead of it. I apologize. Um, maybe I'll, I'll post uh, the sine of 20 on onto the, the homework for tomorrow or something like that. But Anyway, all you have to do is take that sine of 20, figure it out, write it in the corner. Uh, it's going to be, sine of 30, you know, 0.33 something. I don't know, 0.35. I'm not so sure. 
it's probably something bigger than that, but say it's 0.35, then it would be 33 divided by 0.35, which would make it a much, much bigger number, right? Which means you're basically multiplying by three and change. Um, but that's a, that's a different story. So the next steps is, you know, one, step one, find sine 20. Okay, step two would be divide 33 by the decimal you found. So you find the sign of 20, it gives you a decimal, round it to the nearest hundredth or thousandth, and then divide 33 by that decimal you found, and you have your answer. That'll give you X. Okay? And that's about it. Take care.